Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel of Devlis Mathematics Desk. So today we are back with a completely new chapter for class 9 after we finished mean and median successfully in the previous video. So what's the videos of the chapter? It was quite nice solving many kinds of sums. And today we have circle with us. So what is a circle? You all know. Just like this. My drawing is not good. I know that. But a spherical little figure, right? But how can the spherical figure make our life hell? That's the next question. What is there in this spherical figure? So we will see what is actually there in this simple but actually a very complex figure. So we will see what is there. He was sharing my video. A huge thanks to all of you for showing your support to my channel till now. I have seen that many of you are liking and viewing my videos regularly but if you are finding my videos very attractive and informative, my content is quite helpful for you, then I expect a subscribe from your end as well because see in the means mid of my exams I am uploading videos regularly so it takes a lot of time beside my studies. So I want some support from your side as well. I expect it. It will motivate me to make better videos on this looking very simple but actually very complex chapters. Okay. So I expect that from your side and I hope you will support me. With that let's begin this chapter. So the name is circle and the figure is this. But what are the things that are the means how can I draw the circle? I hope you all know circle as a means radius means you know how to draw a circular radius means using compass right you means measure the radius on the scale using the compass and then put the center and then just rotate it like this and draw the circle so where means suppose I means put the compass here and then if I draw the circle then suppose uh, like this I draw a circle This is not a circle. What is this? I means I am confused. I am myself confused. My drawing is horrible. So something kind of a this. So it's the concept is quite clear, right? Means you just put the center of your needle here and then just draw the circle. So obviously this point where you put your needle, this is the center. This is the center. And you means the distance between your needle and the pencil of the compass. That is your radius. So radius is what? From the center to any point to the circumference of the circle. This line, it's a single line. This is the circumference of the circle. And from the center, any line. Suppose this or this. Then each of these are radius. I'm denoting by R. Okay. This is quite clear to you. Now comes what is diameter. Diameter is actually from the center. You have drawn like this. Then just double the diameter. Means here it is like this. Then this is your diameter. Diameter is nothing but twice the radius. Okay. So this is your whole this one. This will be your diameter. So one thing we came to know the diameter is always drawn on the center of the circle, right? Means if I have a circle, then any of these, this, this point or this line, it can be the diameter. But there can be a case like this. What is this line called? So excluding the center. If any line is drawn from means on two points on the circumference on the circle, it is called a chord. So see here we have no, the center is not here, the center is here. But we are just means drawing a line, joining two points, suppose this is A and this is B. Two points on the circumference of the circle. So that is a chord. Now you will be telling what is the difference between diameter and chord then? Simple. Diameter is drawn on the center. 
you see that radius is originating from the center diameter is also the is originating from the center only it's twice the radius and it should be in the center means originating from the center the diameter but chord is like it doesn't have to be on the center in any part of the circle actually excluding the center looks like this to this from here to here like this one c means two unknown points on the circumference of the circle and you join those two points while line that is a chord actually nothing else so today our main concern is about radius center and chord only if i am not wrong diameter we all know that is twice of radius okay so let me just draw a nice circle i can't draw a good circle i know how to draw it like means Oh, something. Okay, so, looking like a guy, you know. But try to understand with this. So suppose this is the center, and this is the radius. Okay. Then suppose I have a chord here. A B is suppose my chord. Then. Okay, no, don't need to please worry about this one now. This is my center. This is my chord. Now suppose my center is C. Now if I draw perpendicular on AB, suppose I have here a point D. I join CD, and if CD is perpendicular to AB. so suppose you have a center c and a chord ab you draw a perpendicular cd on ab cd is a perpendicular on ab okay then what can you figure out from this this cd is the distance of the chord from the center the center is c and cd is the distance of this chord from the center right so that is the distance so this is how means you have to remember that if you have a chord ab and you have, if you draw from the center a perpendicular on that chord then this like this one the cd is a distance of your chord from the perpendicular okay from the center so this is one now you tell me i told you from the center in any where Uh, on any point of the circumference, if you just join, then it will be a radius. Then AC is also a radius, right? So AC is also a radius. Hmm. Now what do we have here? Isn't this a right angle triangle C? If AB AB is perpendicular with CD, then obviously if you join AC and if you join BC as well. then acd and bcd are right angle triangles right they are right angle triangles obviously these are the right angles i think here yeah. they are right angle triangles so what can you do here then so and one more thing if you are drawing a perpendicular on the chord from the center then the chord gets divided equally so if ab is perpendicular to cd then ad equal to bd whenever you are drawing a perpendicular from the center on a chord your chord gets divided equally to two parts means this d is like the midpoint of ab separating it into two equal parts then from here suppose uh, you are given the distance of ab This is our five. Then AD equal to BD, so you can also write BD equal to five. Okay. Then C. Then suppose you are given the radius. Radius throughout will be what here? AC or BC, right? From the center to any point on the circumference. So then C. If you have AD equal to five, 
we have radius equal to 10 suppose this is a radius then what can you find you can find the cd cd is what the distance of the core from the center right so this is how means you have to remember this means the concept that in a circle if you have a chord and on it from the center if you draw a perpendicular the chord gets divided into two equal parts and due to that perpendicular you will see that two right angle triangles are formed where your radius is from the center to any point on the circumference of the circle here a is also a point on the circumference c a and c b are radius and then ad is equal to bd because the chord perpendicular divides the chord into two equal parts okay then you will see two right angle triangles are formed then if you are either given the radius means if you are given from the three things which is a radius length of chord and distance of chord from center from these three things if you are given any two then using the pythagoras theorem so it's hypotenuse square equal to base square plus height square you can find the third unknown thing that's the concept of chord remember that so in all the cases today we will have to draw first of all a chord will be there draw the perpendicular on the chord so then only you will get two right angle triangles and i am pretty sure that in all the cases two of the three things of a right angle triangle will be given to you given to you suppose the hypotenuse here which is the radius the base here which is the what do i say half of the chord then you, using this two you can find the cd the distance of the chord from the center this is how the principles are going to work today so let's quickly summarize what we learned if we go into the sums if a b is a chord c is center and d is a point on a b such that a b equal to uh, sorry a d equal to b d sorry 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 guys a b perpendicular to c d therefore a d equal to b d okay this is one thing and then cd equal to distance of chord from center and ac let us remember it abc then ac slash bc equal radius and we have ad equal to bd so just consider a circle like this so the chord is here center c is here chord is a b and if you pick a point d here and join c d such so that a b perpendicular to c d then you have a d is equal to b d c d is the distance of the chord from the center ac and bc they are the radius and it equal to bd i already told you and angle acd and angle bdc equal to 90 degree these two are 90 degrees so from here using the pythagoras theorem if you have either ad and cd then you can find ac is any two given you can find the third side okay this is the concept about chords for circles see how easily this concept comes into the questions let's see that so we will just draw the diagrams first a chord a centimeter long is drawn at a distance of three centimeter from center of circle
from center of circle. All right. Find radius of circle. Okay. So, first of all, a circle is there. So, let's draw that. Oh, my circle drawing is slowly improving, I think. So, it has a chord. Suppose here the chord is there. Uh, I consider this chord as AB. And its length is 8 cm. Okay. And then, we have a center. C. And see, CD, you take a point D here. I told you that CD is the distance of the <coughs> chord from center of circle. And see, here the chord is drawn at a distance of 3 cm from center of circle. That means the distance of the chord from the center is 3 cm. That means this distance is 3 cm. So here you have to write. Join CD such that any perpendicular to CD. Then see CD is actually the distance of chord from center and that is given in the question as 3 cm. So find radius of circle. So radius is from the center to any point of the circumference. So then here either AC or BC is the radius from center to circumference of circle any point and these two are right angles so we have to find actually BC and or AC one more thing here AB is 8 cm let me just rub this and increase my circle anyhow now it's not looking like a circle so this is 8 cm then AD will be what? Now we know AD equal to BD. See, that's the concept. If you have a perpendicular CD on AB, then AD is equal to BD. So the chord will be divided into two equal parts. That means AD equal to BD equal to 4 cm. Now see how easy it is. So consider any right angle triangle. Suppose for, I'm considering triangle BCD. Here right angle that D. So, you can just write I put in a square equal to base square plus height square or BC square equal to BD square plus CD square or BC square BD is your 4 cm, 4 cm square plus CD is 3 cm or BC square equal to to directly calculate 16 centimeter square plus 9 centimeter square, 25 centimeter square, or BC equal to root of 25 centimeter square equal to 5 centimeter. See, as BC is the radius, therefore AC is also the same radius. Therefore, AC equal to BC equal to 5 centimeter. Therefore, radius equal to 5 centimeter. You have it. That's the answer. So simply we just solved it. What we did, we first of all constructed a circle, drew a chord AB. We had a center C. Now the distance of the chord from center of circle is 3 cm. And we know that if you draw, to take a point D on the chord AB and such that CD is perpendicular to AB, then CD is the distance of the chord from center of circle, which is given as 3 cm. Finished. Now, as AB is perpendicular to CD, therefore AD will be equal to BD. That means 4 cm, 4 cm. Then you will see AD plus BD equal to 4 plus 4, 8 cm, which is AB, right? So then, now as you have drawn a perpendicular here on AB, this angle BDC and angle ADC are right angles. So if you join BC and AC, then ACD and BCD are right angle triangles. Then you have in this triangle BD and CD, you have to find CB or BC, anything you want. So which is your from center to any point of the circumference that is radius. 
So radius you find using Pythagoras theorem bc square or hypotenuse square equal to base square bd square plus height square cd square. And then if you calculate it will be bc square equal to this. bc will be root of 25 centimeter square 5 centimeter. So ac equal to bc equal to 5 centimeter. See why is ac equal to bc? Because as bc is a radius, a circle can have only one radius. So that means bc should be equal to ac, that is 5 centimeter. And as both of them are radius, so the radius is 5 centimeter actually. Which is what we have to find. How easy is that? In every question, first co means compulsory job is for you. Draw a circle, mark the chord in the lower portion. It will help you and then mark the center. From there you can frame the right angle triangle. I told you. That's the use of the Pythagoras theorem actually. So easy as uh, this one, let's see the next one. It's not going to get easier, it's going to get super harder and in part 2 actually we will learn a lot of provings. Actually part 2 means when I saw it, it was quite hard for me to understand. So you will see what part 2 has to offer you, it's quite hard. If you don't understand today's video, it will be quite an impossible job for you to understand the sums in next video. So, understand why a perpendicular is drawn. Why? So that we can form a right angle triangle. So that we can just assume that CD is a distance between chord and center. Then, either AC or BC is the radius. So a circle is a means round field, it doesn't have many things. And actually, chord is means 60% of the circle, chord diameter, they form the 60% of this chapter. But a diameter equal to radius, you know, diameter is radius into 2. So learning the concepts is quite important actually. So if you understand part 1, you will be able to means understand the logic in part 2. Part 2 is not about solving and finding out values. It's proving that something is equal to something. So you will see what is there in that video. Let's focus on today's one. Question 2 coming up on your way. Okay. A chord of length 24 centimeter is at a distance of 5 centimeters from the center of the circle. Mm -hmm. All right, accept it. Find the length of the chord of the same circle. What is this? And guys, one more thing here as AD is equal to BD. Then AB equal to 2 into AD or BD. That is quite means easy for you to understand. Since as AD is equal to BD, then if you just multiply AD by 2, you will get AB. Or BD by 2, you will get AB. So just remember that as well. Why you will understand soon. Find the length of the chord. the same circle which is at a distance of 12 cm from center hmm, two cases right First one it is 5 cm from center of circle, second one it is 12 cm from center of circle. <coughs> Let's draw the chord first, sorry, the circle. Where do I draw it? Let me draw it here. Right. The take that my chord is here, suppose. My center is suppose here. This is my center C and this is my chord A. Hmm? 
then a chord of length 24 so this chord is of length 24 centimeter this chord this is of 24 centimeter and then we know CD if you take a point D here the CD such that CD perpendicular to AB then CD is a distance of point from center of circle for chord from center of circle so <coughs> Distance of 5 cm from center of circle. So this chord is at a distance of 5 cm from center of circle. That means CD is actually 5 cm, right? Then, as CD perpendicular to AB, therefore AD equal to BD equal to 12 cm. First of all, that. Because see, CD is actually dividing into two equal parts, a, 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 B, and AD equal to BD, which is 12 centimeter. Just divide 24 by 2, that is actually a, AD and BD respectively. Okay. Then C, if you join AC and BC, these are right angles. When you are drawing perpendicular, BDC and ADC are right angles, I told you. So these two are right angle triangles. Now we have AD and DC in ACD and BD and DC in PCD. So either of these AC and BC you can find using Pythagoras theorem. <coughs> so AC and BC is what the radius is mentioned. AC slash BC equal radius. Then just see or I'm considering BCD. BC square equal to DB square plus CD square or BC square equal to DB is 12 centimeter CD is 5 centimeter so if you can calculate it will be 169 centimeter square or BC equal to root of 169 cm square equal to 13 centimeter So we have got the BC which is radius. So AC is also the radius, so it is all it should also be 13 centimeter. Now the second case is find the length of the chord of the same circle which is at a distance of 12 centimeter from center. Now this chord's length is not 24. Okay, but this distance of chord from the center, this is changed to 12 centimeter. Now again AD equal to BD, again for triangle BCD, CBC square equal to BD square plus CD square BD we just BC we bought the radius 13 centimeter square equal to BD square plus uh, CD square which is 12 centimeter square and if you calculate you will get BD square equal to 25 centimeter square or BD equal to 5 centimeters. I'll root it. Then BD is 5 centimeter we got. Therefore AB equal to 2 into BD equal to 2 into 5 centimeter equal to 10 centimeter. That's the final answer. AB the new distance of the chord. See here as DB is 5, so AD should also be 5, AB, AD equal to BD because of this perpendicular. Then AB is AD plus BD or 2 into BD, so 2 into 5, 10 centimeter. How this question we completed? First of all, in the triangle circle, we had the chord, we had the center. The distance of the chord from center was initially 5 centimeter. <coughs> we did a perpendicular. These two are right angles, 
Now AC and BC are the radius. You join them, then you get two right angle triangles. Initially you had CD, you had BD and AD, which is 24 by 2, 12 centimeter. And we found out CB the radius using Pythagoras theorem, which is equal to AC. Obviously, both the radius will be same. Now radius is we have found it. Now this distance of the chord from the center it changes to 12 centimeter. Then we have to find a new length of the chord. And obviously AD will be equal to BD. Then for BCD now see the radius was 13 centimeter. The distance now changes to 12 centimeter. Again using Pythagoras theorem you can find BD, which is uh, half of the chord AB. Then the full chord AB will be 2 into BD, which will be equal to 10 centimeter. The answer. So two cases actually in this question, nothing else. Step by step solve them. First of all, find the radius. Then you have the radius and the new chord distance from center. Using that, find the base BD and base BD into 2 equal to the new chord AB's length. As simple as that. So easy. It's just like the previous question. Just in this question, they frame two cases. No worries, we solved it. Let's see the next one. I have to rub everything quite carefully so that the concepts don't get rubbed out. Okay, looks quite clean. Ah, good question is on its way. In the following figure, which figure we will draw quite soon. Let's see. AD is a straight line. And I, why I don't know the given in brackets chord? That's quite foolish actually. So why don't they write it straight line? You can just write it in a chord. Who else means who doesn't know that a chord is a straight line? No, means everyone knows that. Okay. Trying to give us complete understanding of definition of chord. That it is not a curved line, it is a straight line. Better. And OP per perpendicular to AD. See, perpendicular is everywhere. This perpendicular, actually this triangle perpendicular, you know, you can just see two right angles. So its main function is to form two right angles actually. And O. So O is the center of the circle. Oh no, wait. Of both the circles. Hmm? What is this? This is going to be a two circles. How can it be there? there? Let's see. If OA equal to 34 centimeter, OB equal to 20 centimeter. OP equal to 16 centimeter. Find AB. Now we know what on earth are you writing? So our figure is there, that's why these statements are there. Okay. So actually the figure is like this. The initial circle, which is a bigger one. Inside this, a smaller circle is there. And here is center O. Which is O is the means center for both the circles. Okay. And AO, it's not AO, AD is a chord like this. Yes. Okay. And also we have here B and C. And a point. P is there and what I have done is 
let's join the join this okay this is the figure hmm now from where this we can just see that here let me just see how we can do this op ob is there ob okay this is also joined. I just forgot to write any special in the question. So AO is joined, OB is joined. Here, see, AD, OP is perpendicular to AD, therefore AP equal to PD. And also, see if you want to find AB, AB is actually AP minus BP. See, from AP, if you remove BP, then you will have AB, right? Also, AP minus BP equal to AB. Our task is actually finding out AP and BP's length. Okay, this is gonna be quite easy. Let's see how. So, see what is the case here. So, this one OAP is a right angle triangle, right? Because OP is perpendicular on AD, so APO is a right angle. Similarly, as O is the center of both these circles, therefore, BPO is also a right angle. And see, here from you can observe that OP is perpendicular to BC as well. As OP is perpendicular to AD, so OP is also perpendicular to BC. From the figure only you can understand, OP is perpendicular to BC, therefore, BP equal to PC. You get that? Okay. Now, let's just solve it. So, in triangle BPO, here OP is given to us 16 centimeter. OB is given to us 20 centimeter. And find BP. Then what will it be? Hypotenuse square go to base square plus height square, right? Hypotenuse is this one OB square equal to OP square plus BP square. Or OB is 20 centimeter square equal to OP is 16 centimeter square, OP is 16 centimeter square plus BP square. Then if you just calculate, you will get out BP square equal to 144 centimeter square and just root it, BP will be equal to root 144 centimeter square equal to 12 centimeter. We get BP, okay? Now another triangle is there which is AOP that is also right angle triangle in triangle AOP. Again see hypotenuse AO square equal to base AP square plus height OP square. So AO is 34 centimeter square or OA equal to AP square plus PO square OP square or AO square 34 centimeter square equal to AP we don't know plus OP square 16 centimeter square or if you just calculate you will get AP square let me calculate okay 34 34 plus 16 okay wait I have that one 34 square minus 16 square 34 plus 16 to 50 multiplied by minus 16 18 so plus 16 50 so 34 minus 16 which is 18 50 multiplied by 18 900 AP square for 900 
Then you get a square, you will get. Let me just check, okay. 34 square is what? 34 into 30, 1200 and 136. 1200, 1300, oh sorry, 1020 plus 136, 1156 minus 16 square is 256, 1156 minus 256 equal to 900, obviously, then just root out AP or AP equal to root 900 centimeter square equal to 30 centimeter. So now, what I told in the, the beginning. The C A B is A P minus B P. Therefore, A B equal to A P is length we got 30 centimeter. B P is length we initially got 12 centimeter. Equal to 18 centimeter. We got the answer of this easy but difficult question. The figure is given to you. Just see. And from here, as O P is perpendicular to A B, A B. Then obviously, as O is the center of both of these circles, then OP, has, OP is obviously perpendicular to BC as well. Then as OP perpendicular to AD, AP equal to PD. And as OP perpendicular to P, BC, then BP equal to PC. That's written in the beginning. Then actually then BPO and triangle APO, both are right angle triangles, right angle at P. Then initially coming to right angle triangle BPO. We have OP as 16, OB as 20 given in the data only. And find BP using Pythagoras theorem, you will find BP as 12 cm. Then coming to the right angle triangle AOP. That AO as 34 and OP we initially at 13, 16 cm. Then to find AP, just again I apply the Pythagoras theorem, you will get AP. Then AB is what? AP minus BP. AP we got. 30 centimeter, BP we got 12 centimeter, 37 centimeter minus 12 centimeter, 18 centimeter. So if the figure was not given to us, it could have been a problem. But from the figure, they have not directly written that OP perpendicular to BC, but you can just observe it because the O is the center of the same circle. And in case of means triangle AOD and triangle BOC, the distance OP is remaining the same. Then OP should all also be perpendicular to BC. Then BP will be equal to PC. Then you can find BP here from right angle triangle, triangle Pythagoras theorem. And OAP is already a right angle triangle already given in the question because OP perpendicular to AD. Then obviously P is a right angle. Then from there you can find AP and AP minus BP equal to AB as simple as that got the answer of this question so see if you know the property of chord that if perpendicular is on a chord it makes a bisects the chord in two equal parts and means the chord and the means distance of the chord from the center where they intersect they are right angles then you can get the two right angles triangles and therefrom you can use the Pythagoras theorem anyhow according to the question okay simple Let's proceed. It is fun. If you means understand it, you can see it's a little bit challenging and I know that when you solve a challenging question successfully, you feel like wait, I can also do it. Right? It's like a means brave act, you think. So yes, solving hard questions, it takes a good brain. So, here is the next question. And probably the last question for today. So, I mean, see, this is the introductory part of this chapter. It's not the end, it's the beginning. This means the beginning steps, you can say this chapter. When we will go to part 3, our steps will be like a giant person, right? Experienced people we will become. So, the question is this. In a circle, now the figure is not given, but many kinds of data are given. Now radius 17 centimeter. Two 
parallel chords of length 30 cm and 16 cm Hmm, I accept it. I draw. Find distance between the chords. Okay, now we have to find the distance between the chords. Not the distance from the center to the chord. Between the chords. It's going to be a good question. You will see how the figure is framed. And from then on, it will be a easy job, I am telling you. If both the chords are drawn on are on opposite sides of the center, so means one is on this side of the center and another, another is on the other side of the center. We will see how it can be done. So Framing the diagram here is quite important. So, where do I frame the diagram? It will take a lot of space actually this question. So, suppose I am drawing it uh, here. So, the circle first of all. Oh, damn. It's not a good circle, right? We need to be, have a good circle with us. I think I need training on drawing circles. If any of you, one of you means no to draw circles, please train me. I struggle it quite miserably. So this is a circle, the scores in it. Uh, looking like a fried egg. So in a circle, oh so okay. The radius first of all. So the center is obviously here. Just take it. That means two chords are there on opposite sides of the circle. Means center. Means if one chord is on this side of the center, means on this side, and the other chord is on this side of the center. Okay. And these two are parallel chords. Alright. So let me name them as A, B, and C, D. And let the center be O. Okay. Uh, okay, and the radius. So then from here what we can just see, here OC and OA or OD and OB can be uh, the radius of the circle because from the center to any point of the circumference of the circle it is the radius. So I am taking OC and OD. So they are the radius of the circle. So and what you can do is from means you can just take a point E here and join OE such that OE perpendicular to AB and so let's take a point F here and join OF such that OF perpendicular to CB. Now see you have the game with you. Here you have two right angle triangles, right? Two right angles. So what we did? So initially, so see, uh, if AB's length you consider one chord's length is 30 centimeter, then AE will be equal to EB, that means 15 centimeter each. Then another chord CD's length if you consider 16 centimeter, then CF equal to FD, 8 centimeter each. Right? That's quite easy then. See why is it happening? Because we are taking a point E here such that OE is perpendicular to AB. Then AE, uh, O divides, OE divides AB into equal parts. Then 30 by 2, 15. Again, 15 each. Then here 16 by 2, 8. CF and FD, 8 each. Then we have that radius is 17 centimeter. So OC and OA are radius, so OC is 17 centimeter, OA is 17 centimeter. So 
Now for triangle AOE. So right angle triangle. So hypotenuse square AO square equal to base AE square plus height OE square. For this triangle or AO is 17 centimeter square equal to AE is 15 centimeter square plus OE square and if you just then calculate you will get at OE square equal to what is 17 square or uh, 289 that's 25 64 centimeter square or OE equal to the root 64 8 centimeter so we get OE as 8 centimeter hmm? Now we have to get for OF. So then for triangle COF, hypotenuse OC square equal to OF square plus uh, base FC square. Means you have to see it in inverted way, then you will see that here OC is the hypotenuse, OF is the height, FC is the base. For triangle COF, <coughs> OC is your hypotenuse square equal to base square, base is uh, CF square plus height OF square or OC square 17 centimeter square equal to CF is 8 centimeter square plus OF square. Or OF square, if you calculate, you will get 29 minus 64 to 25. Yeah. Or OF, just root it, you will get 15 centimeter. 15 OF. Then see, we have to find distance between the chords. So distance between the chords are CD and AB. The distance between chords are what? EF, EF is distance between chords, EF is dist, I am writing between AB and CD, which are the two chords, and EF is what, OE plus OF, EF equal to OE plus OF, OE we got initially 8 centimeter. And OF we just got now 15 centimeter equal to 23 centimeter actually and that's the answer gone finished how easy was that let's summarize this question see we had a circle and it was it was given that two parallel chords were drawn how on opposite sides of the center on one side one chord is drawn on the opposite side the other another chord is drawn I draw it like that easy then what is given to us that length of the two chords are 30 and 16 then what i do i take a point e on ab one chord such that oe perpendicular to ab okay then ab if i take 30 centimeter then this oe divides ab into two equal parts 15 centimeter each similarly if i take a point f on cd such that of equal perpendicular to cd then OF divides CD into two equal parts. Then CD's length is 16 centimeter. Then CF equal to FD equal to 8 centimeter. All right. Then radius of the circle is 17 centimeter. Radius is what? From the center to any point of the circumference of circle. So either OC, OA, OB or OD are the radius of circle. So I take OC and OA as a radius. Then each of them are 17 centimeter. Now see, here you have got because of this perpendicular OE and AB on right angle triangle AOE and because of this perpendicular FO and CD we have got another right angle triangle COF so from these two using Pythagoras theorem we have been given the lengths for AOE AO and AE you can find the length of OE and for COF you have the lengths of CF and CO you can find the length of FO or OF then we have to find distance between chords Distance between chords is what? 
distance between CD and AB is EF, right? Which is the distance between cords. And EF is equal to OE plus OF. We got OE as 8 centimeter. We got OF as 15 centimeter. Add them off, you get EF, which is the distance between the cords CD and AB. Simple as that. So you have to draw the diagram quite neat and cleanly. But see, it's a quite easy logic. Means if you have center and have a circle and draw two uh, perpendicular means per perpendicular chords on opposite sides of the center, then from this method only, what is this figure looking like? Uh, this, then here I have another chord. And suppose it is EF. Here I have. G and then these two are another right angles. So means two inverted triangles are actually coming up, right? And because of these two chords, if you take perpendicular on both of them, such that means two perpendicular are formed. CD perpendicular to OF and OE perpendicular to AB. Then you can have any two right angle triangles. From these two, you can calculate OF and OE. And from there, if you add them up, you can calculate EF, which is the distance between CD and AD. That's all. That's what you have to means do here in this question. So the means it can be given like a five to seven line question to you. First, draw a circle, draw the chord, and then draw perpendicular, and then put the given lens. Any kind of question you can solve from this part one. That's why I only completed it in four questions because. It's not about solving many questions, it's about solving the conceptual and hard questions. And we did that. But see, part one is this interesting, part two is going to be hmm, quite hard, right? This was quite actually sweating for us. So get ready to sweat much more in part two actually, so it will be much more interesting and hard. So we will learn various new concepts there, we will learn how to prove uh, various relations using the property of chords and circles. So stay tuned for that video. So then, if in today's video of circle part one for class nine, you found the property of chord on circle and perpendicular quite clear and all the formulas were helpful and informative for you. Then obviously leave a like and share and subscribe my channel. It motivates me to make better videos for you all on these hard and confusing chapters, even though I'm going through a very intense exam okay see you in next video where we will start part two new sums are coming stay tuned till that take care and goodbye thank you